You know what my problem is today? And I'm very pissed about this. It's Maple Story 2, and I'm not talking about the game in whole. No, not at all. It's a cute game. It's a free MMO. I mean, what can you really ask from that, right? I don't think it's pay to win. It might be. I don't know. I, I'm not at the very, very end of it yet. But I am in the final stages of the game with my wife, uh, Foxy. So, again, not as a whole. It's it's a fine game as a whole. But, oh my gosh! The freaking uh, dungeon difficulty set uh, scaling, scaling is ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. And this is coming from a guy who has played World of Warcraft, Elder Scrolls Online, Aeon, if it's still around, and most recently, Guild Wars 2. I've been playing MMOs for, um, was it 2009? For 13 years already. I've been playing for 13 years. I understand what it takes to get a dungeon completed. It takes a certain amount of skill, a certain amount of gear, and definitely communication with your team no matter how many people you have in a party, okay? Now the nice thing, the nice thing about uh, MapleStory 2 is that they understand that not everyone has friends, so you can go into a dungeon just by yourself. They can tune it so that, because um, I guess the dungeons are typically for a party of four, but they can tune it to a party of one, two, three, so that it's doable, so that you can, you can finish the main story, the main quest line by yourself if you need to. That's why they do that, okay? The problem is, very specific instance, by the way, last night, it's with Black Knob number one and number two. And here's a screenshot of that. So these two dungeons are right next to each other. You have to complete them in the same quest. Uh, in the same quest, no joke, this is not optional, right? If you want to complete the main storyline, that is. So, uh, <laughs> and, uh, oh God. you know, I'm so pissed off about this. The Black Knob number one dungeon was so typical. It wasn't too hard, but it wasn't too easy. It was pretty moderate. I think I died once in that, and we, we got through it within a, yeah, about 20 minutes or so, right? That was fine. But when you come to Black Knob number two, Nothing can prepare you for this. Nothing. Not any of the one-shot bullshit you've had in Maple Story 2 before. N n nothing. Nothing in Maple Story 2 can prepare you for this up to this point. Okay? Even even my pet Jimmy. My pet Jimmy freaking did so many fucking revives on me. He had to revive me at least six times by himself. I'm like, Jimmy, I'm so sorry, man. I'm so sorry, brah. Brah. Don't leave me, brah. Okay? Don't leave me. Don't leave me. So anyway... I'm just going to show you a reenactment of exactly what happened last night. So I'm going to be represented by the blue meeple right here. My wife is going to be represented by the purple meeple right here. And in older MMOs, you could come up against a, a dungeon master boss like a Surfer Dude McMillan right here. And he wouldn't be too hard to beat. It's a tutorial dungeon. He goes down. Then you could go against another dungeon master, uh, Hippie Rachel. Hippie Rachel, a little bit harder. She still goes down though. Okay, cool. Then you can go even to hardest, hardest dungeons against the angry ass, scary llama man. And a little bit harder to beat, but you still beat him. And now in Maple Story 2, this is Black Knob number one boss. Not too hard, little raccoon, but uh, hard enough. Little raccoon goes down. All right, now here comes the shit right here. Laser beams above us with this cute little owl thing. That, that's the home beam laser beam. That's the mini boss, that little reaper bird thing. Yeah, yeah. 10 times harder than all this shit. Homing laser beam. You can't run anywhere. Laser beam will kill you. Oh, and then I forget to mention there's eight of these little uh, electro uh, robot things on the side that shoot out homing electric bullshit. It's just it, electric balls of bullshit is what it is. You can't go anywhere. You're always being targeted. You have to dodge. And it's just, it's just not going to work out. As you can see in this reenactment. See? Freaking purple meeple, my wife, got destroyed by the, the things on... They're not even on the platform. How are you supposed to hit them when they're not on the platform? Not everyone's a ranged character. Sometimes the, the mini boss would just stand there and other times like this, come together and just destroy. It's bullshit, man. Utter bullshit. Utter bullshit. And I die. Oh, and I forgot to mention, this is one of those rare dungeons where the boss was actually a little bit easier to complete, to finish off, than the mini boss. Okay, the mini boss, you had to fucking dodge, 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 hit once every minute. <laughs> because <laughs> you have to dodge so much? 
What the hell? And, and the last boss of this dungeon was actually a little bit easier. A little bit easier to complete. Now, they were harder than the um, boss in Black Knob number one. Definitely, like, times three harder. But still... <laughs> we lost sleep. We lost sleep over it, and I refuse to lose sleep over another fucking Maple Story 2 dungeon again. And that's my problem.